Hey guys, it's uh, Brian here with the Coastal Patrol Cub and uh, today I figured I'd do a quick little video about our uh, trig seatback radio setup from Pinegar Aviation. Um, just got this installed in the Cub and uh, it's a pretty slick setup. Uh, so I figured I'd kind of show you around. Again, the uh, company that makes this is Pinegar Aviation. Um, and what I really like about this, it's a, it's a trig radio and intercom. So you can see here we got plugs uh, for the co-pilot and the pilot over there. I'm, I'm already plugged in there. Um, turn the power on here real quick. You can see you've got a, a battery voltage readout there. Uh, 12 volt uh, plug in here that I used to uh, charge the device. Then you got the, the radio set up there. It does, um, I think, nine or ten presets, I forget. Uh, and then obviously you got your primary and your standby uh, there. Um, and then over there, I, I got, you know, just a basic push to talk switch. Now, um, what's really cool about this setup here is they will customize it pretty much however you want and they do the the seat back that it goes in as well so when you get it set up you tell them exactly uh, kind of what features you want and how you want your seat back set up they'll do you know different pockets or what have you um pretty pretty cool little setup the one thing i don't like about how we did ours and again this is not the fault of the company this is just I wish I'd asked for it a little bit different when we ordered it and I didn't think about it until <laughs> we had already gotten it. Um, so again, I've got a, I've got a push to talk switch here on the radio from our previous radio. I got a push to talk switch on the stick and I plan on, I have the front stick out right now cause I'm planning on putting a push to talk switch on there too. Um, I'm pretty, uh, I'm turn this off so I don't kill the battery for no reason. Um, I'm pretty uh, electronically savvy, so I'll be able to wire in my own push-to-talk switch, no problem. Um, but in hindsight, I would have not gotten the push-to-talk switch on the radio and just, just have it set up to wire up uh, my own uh, stick-based push-to-talk switches. So that's one thing, again, I would have done a little bit differently. And so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take that push-to-talk switch out and um, open up that whole little wider and add a dedicated uh, USB plug over there. Oh, I forgot, when you flip this open, this also has a USB out as well. So you do have some USB power. Um, and then as far as uh, you can see down there, again, I gotta I clean up how it's run a little bit, but I literally just put this in, but runs off to the external antenna that for us is mounted up there for right now uh, on the front of the cub. Um, someday when I get the cub recovered, I'm going to probably move that antenna, hide it away in the tail somewhere, um, just to make things look a little more original. But yeah, pretty, pretty neat, uh, radio setup. As you can see, it's, you know, it's well clear of the stick and everything. So it takes up pretty much no space and I still have a nice little pocket there in the seat back. Um, uh, one other thing I've seen people do is they'll have a, a hole made here so that they can get a clamp on that front seat. Uh, tubing for mounting an iPad or what have you. So that's another nice little neat feature that they can do. So yeah, yeah, like I said, not sponsored in any way, shape or form, um, uh, but been pretty happy with this radio setup. So just thought I'd show y'all. 